So hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to review the AeroOS version 13.1 by Pratham. So let me show you the about section. So this is the about section. You can see it's AeroOS version 13.1. The kernel that is used is the Bolt version 2 and the kernel version is 4.14.327 and the Android version is Android 13. Now as we know in AeroOS we don't get that much customization and that much options but still I will talk about some of them. So in system we get the usual gestures and in gestures we have the system navigation and in gesture navigation we get an option called gesture bar so if you turn it off the gesture bar gets disappeared and the IME button space under the keyboard also gets disappeared. Similarly, if we turn it on, you can see the gesture bar appears and the IME button space appears. So I like to keep it off because I don't like the IME button space and with that setting we get the other settings too like quick torch then swipe to screenshot quick QS pull down etc and this is it and here in digital welding we get the data now in security we get the face unlock and also the app lock so the app lock is working fine you can see here is protected apps we can add any app from the app list in this list and if we add any app in the list then if we open that app it will ask for fingerprint and you can use pin too but for that you have to click on the unlock button it's an extra feature that is added in this rom now next time when you want to remove the app from the app lock just go to app lock then click on it and remove that app from protected app so i think i did a mistake here so the thing is when we unlock the phone with face unlock it requires to touch the screen when using fingerprint that's why i am when i am giving the fingerprint it's not taking the fingerprint it's basically taking the face unlock so for that we have to click on this button to get access to the application and talking about the unlocking speed I hope you already noticed the face unlock is also fast. Now in wallpaper and style, we don't get any extra options. We get the themed icons, dark theme, and then icon shape, font, and shape. So in icon shape, we get some of the shapes. And in font, we get only a few fonts. And in the shape, we get these shapes. So there is very limited options in the ROS. That's why it is so smooth to use. And in wallpaper colors, you can add the accent colors and in basic colors you can give any color to the accent now in the sound and vibration we get a typical ui we don't get the increasing ring volume which became necessary these days then we have the bass loudness which optimizes the sound quality but i don't think so then in the vibration and haptics we get the vibration intensity and in this room also the vibration is working perfectly fine there is no weak vibration problem now in network and internet here is no extra option in the private dns you have to add the host name manually now in the display we get the colors and in color we can adjust the color balance now in the default refresh rate we can set the minimum refresh rate to 90 and we can also set the preferred and maximum refresh rate then we get the lip to wake and tap to wake so the tap to wake is working as you can see but the lip to wake does not work just like other ROMs so this is it for the settings now talking about the recents the recents look like this there is no select feature in the recents and in this ROM I have noticed a new change in the UI so there is an addition in the at a glance widget so this widget has a new UI I guess if I click on it it will show the calendar if I click on the weather it shows the weather and if I go to widgets then see the calendar so I can't find that so I guess it's the at a glance widget that I was talking about now in the home settings you can see when I open it it shows the arrow logo that means the arrow is launcher is used now in the home settings of the launcher we get the parallel space which is basically multiple instances of same application and we get developer options in the launcher so this is it now talking about the battery backup if i go to battery and show you the battery usage you can see i did not charge it for 8 to 10 hours and the screen on time i got is 4 hour 8 minutes so i will get around 6 hours if i drain it to 0 percent but yesterday i took another screenshot that was pretty much impressive you can see the battery remained 20 percent and the screen on time was 5 hours 25 minutes so that means we get around 7 hours of screen on time with this rom although my battery health is around of 77 percent so if you have a if you have a better health in your battery then you will get more battery backup within this room and 
talking about the throttling test let me show you the throttling test result in this form so in thermal throttling test we get a performance like this without any performance script or any kind of custom kernel or any custom kernel the cpu throttled 88 percent of its maximum performance but if we use performance script then we will definitely see some improvements in the performance and also in the graph now let's rate this rom for all aspects so for smoothness i will rate this rom 7.5 out of 10 because this rom is not laggy it's completely smooth i did not get any jitter lag or something like that talking about the ram management the ram management in this rom is really good so i will give 8 out of 10 and talking about the battery backup the battery backup that i got in this rom is also very good so i will give around 7.5 and talking about the features and customization i will rate 5 out of 10 because there is no extra options and any kind of customization so i think 5 will be enough for this so this is it for the review now let's get to the gaming test so guys you can see here i have started the game and i am currently using the gfx tool to unlock 90 fps and it is going very well it's already giving 90 fps so let's play an arena training and you can see the fps right here Team match, let's go. So guys you can see I am not using any script or any custom kernel but still the performance is really good. So is this a gaming ROM? Let's find out. So guys you can see here the FPS is being maintained at 60, I mean 60 plus all the time, not below 60 actually. So I think we have एक ऐसा ROM मिल ही गया जिसको हम बिना script के use कर सकते हैं क्योंकि जो performance हमें मिल रहा है यहाँ पर without any script वो बहुत ही अच्छा है So I don't think you need any kind of script to do gameplay on this device I mean on this ROM because it's already really good but still if you want to use script you will definitely get improvement I mean the frame rate may be locked at 90 in that case
So finally we have found a ROM that does not require FKM script or performance script to do 60 FPS plus gaming. So I am really happy to see this. So you can see the jump rate is really good in the stop kernel. Now talking about the installation, if you have unlocked your bootloader by watching this video and you have successfully installed a custom recovery by watching this video, then you can flash this ROM by watching this video. Here I have talked about how to install Realme UI 2.0 based Android 13 or Android 12 ROM directly from Realme UI 2.0 based recovery. But if you are in Realme UI 1.0 and if you have a custom recovery, then you can also install this ROM by watching this video. Here I have discussed how to install any Android 13 Realme UI 2.0 based ROM directly from Realme UI 1.0. Have a great day. How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till